Hi, I'm Dan, and I work on Open Social. And today, I'm going to take you through the basic steps in running your own Open Social applications. So the first thing that we're going to do is do a little primer on gadgets. And gadgets at their basic level are just XML files. And so we're going to take a, a quick look at what a gadget XML file looks like. As you can see, a, a gadget is just XML. Uh, at the top of the file, you can see the XML version type and encoding. And below that, you can see the tags that specify this as a gadget file. We open everything up with a module tag. And inside of that, we have module preferences that specify things like the application's title and require features uh, necessary for the application, here requiring the open social feature. And below that, we uh, actually define the content of the gadget. Here, the content type is HTML. Inside of that, we have a C data section, which is where all of our code, our HTML and JavaScript go, and the string hello world. So now that that little intro is out of the way, we can go down and uh, run our first social application. So there's a couple things that you'll need for this. First, a text editor and a web hosting account. And in addition to that, you'll need an ORCID account and access to the ORCID sandbox, which is where we allow you to test your social applications. I will assume that most of you have a text editor. And a lot of you probably already have web hosting. But if you don't, there's two things that you can try. First is Google Code Project Hosting, which is a place to host open source applications. So if you'd like to make your gadget open source, you can host it there. And if you don't want to do that, you can use Google Page Creator, which allows you to upload HTML files, edit HTML files, and upload other non-HTML files like gadget specifications, like we're writing here. So once you have that out of the way, you're going to need to create an ORCID account, which is pretty straightforward. Just go to ORCID.com, and it'll walk you through the steps. Once you've done that, you're going to need to sign up for access to the ORCID sandbox, which is pretty straightforward as well. We have a link that you can use to do that. And once you have access, you can log into sandbox.orcid.com and add your gadget. And I'll show you how to do that right now. So what you should do is you should take the text of the sample gadget, copy that into a text file, and save it on your web hosting account as helloworld.xml. Log into your ORCID account. Click on the Edit button next to Apps on the left-hand side of the page. Type in the URL of your new, newly created XML file. Click on the Add Application button. Grant the application permission to access your account. And then click on the link that it adds to the applications on your page. So now you've installed your first social application into ORCID. For more information on what I just did, as well as more information on the rest of the social API, check out the tutorial on code.google.com under the Open Social section.